Today is the weekly stamping club, and the theme is witches. Which, please. Links to everyone's videos will be in the description box. Hosting this week is Nerdy Creations, and joining us is May Nail Designs, Never Naked Nails Nail Art, Jadinka Nail Art, Girly Nails 66, Jenny Stone, and this is my creation. Now I'll show you how I created it. Let's get started. The top and base coat I'll be using is from Maxis. I use Finito Top Coat and the Maxis Base Coat. I find that I really like the Maxis products best out of anything that I've come across. And I also have a discount code if you guys want to try it too. Also, they do have free shipping for $18 and over. So that's pretty actually good. <laughs> that's a really good deal. I'm also using my favorites for Maniology, the Ice Cube scan Stamper, the Sticky Base Coat, and the Smudge Free Top Coat. I also have a discount code for Maniology if you're interested. And these are the polishes I'll be using. For stamping, I'll be using Hit the Bottle, and this is Hello There Beautiful. And from Bases Loaded Lacquer. They changed the name. It's not Braves Diva Polish anymore. It's Bases Loaded Lacquer. I'm using On the Black Stamping Polish. Um, for stamping, I'll also be using my favorite silver polish, and this is On the Rocks by Color Club. It's a regular polish, but I think it's remarkable at stamping. And then my new addition to my polish collection, I'm going to be using Essie's Paybacks A Witch. I was so excited to get that polish and add that to my collection, my Halloween polish collection this year. As usual, I am going to be using um, base coat under all of my polishes. This just help protects your nails against staying and this one's actually nourishing as well. Now I am applying Paybacks a Witch and rather sloppily as well. And um, these Essie polishes have a nice wide flat brush. This is pretty polished. This looks pretty good in one coat, but I am going to add a second one. And it is like a really super dark plum color. Looks like maybe it's got some like gold or maybe silver flecks in there. Maybe silver and a little gold fleck. I don't know. It's really pretty. Definitely different. Okay, so now I'm going to use this little piece of sponge right here. And I'm just going to attempt <laughs> to make like a little moon. So I'm just kind of putting a little circle I'm just going to sponge on a little moon, a full moon. This Halloween there's going to be a full moon and it's called the blue moon. But did you guys know that the blue moon isn't really blue? I just found that out. <laughs> that was going to be blue. So I was pretty disappointed to find out it's not going to be blue. Oh well, whatever. All right. So now I'm just going to sponge this on. And I made it a little bit too big, so I'll just fix it up with some more nail. I'll just spun down a little bit of the polish right there. There we go. I know I've worked out better in my head. I hope that's looking pretty good. All right, we're getting promising. I think that is good enough. So now I'm going to use this 
plate. It's got a little witch flying here. And it is a bundle monster plate. No, it is not bundle monster. Oh my God, it's born pretty. So I'll just put the link. I mean, not the link because I get these on eBay. So by the time you see the video, they would probably be sold out or whatever. But I'll put the plate number on there so you can look for it. And I'm going to get the switch right now. So recently I found out that if you have these images like this that are more solid, that you can kind of like scrub the polish in there and you'll get a better pickup. Scraper here. Ooh, and I did get a really good pickup. This little bundle monster ice cube stampers are really good. So what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to remove these little bats. Actually, they didn't really come out that great and I didn't really want them in there anyway. And then I'll remove <clears throat> the rest. There we go. So now I just have the little witch. Now, because I want all parts of the stamped image to stick nicely to my nail, I'm going to put the sticky base coat on. And I usually only wait like a minute and a half. And that usually is a pretty good time. It's still sticky enough to um, grab the image off the stamper and stick to my nail. Okay, so now I'm just going to put our little witch right here over the moon and that came out pretty good. I use this new uber chic plate here and this is Halloween 6 and they have a little saying right here if the broom fits I think it'll be perfect. Okay so we'll just get these words here. Scrape them and pick it up with the stamper. Okay, so I'll just clean up the edges and put that on my nail. I already have the, the sticky base coat on there. And there we go. And the next thing I do is I put the smudge free top coat on before I put my other top coat on, just to make sure that it is not going to smear my stamping. I'll wait for that to dry and I'll come back. Okay, everything's dry. And I'm just gonna go in with the Finito. It's a nice quick dry top coat, even though my nail polish is already dry. Um, this gives it a really nice shine. And then I'll be back when this is dry. Here is the finished Manny. I really like how this came out. I hope you guys do too. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.